what's popping, what's popping. Hopefully y'all having a good day, but let's get right into it. Overcoming addictions is hard as hell. I'm gonna say that again. Overcoming addictions is hard as hell. You got people who are addicted to weed, pills, um, sex, porn, um, cocaine, uh, fentanyl. People are addicted to everything. Food. And it hurts us. We know it's hurting us and we still do it because guess what? A lot of things we're addicted to is a part of us. We probably started it when we were uh, young teenagers or we probably need it. Some people probably got on pills because they lost their parents. Some people probably drink so they cannot feel nothing. Because their mind is steady, steady racing, steady racing. You know, so when you see somebody addicted to something, don't don't judge them because we all have all the time to overcome stuff if we ever overcome it. But this is what I learned about overcoming addictions. When you want to overcome an addiction, you really have to want it for yourself. You got to get so tired of the old you. You got to get so tired of going through what you're going through. You got to get so tired of your mind having control over you that you want to change in your life. I just got back on semen retention uh, July 3rd. July 3rd, I just got back on semen retention. And I told myself, I'm not going back to who I, who I used to be. I'm not going back to that dude. I'm not going back just meeting chicks on Bumble where you at, oh, come through. You smash, never see him again. Same, same routine, same. I'm not going through that. I'm not going through me watching porn when I'm bored, watching porn when I wake up, watching porn before I go to sleep. And that's not because I want to follow some trend or something. It's because if I keep going back to that, I'm going to always be miserable with my life. I'm going to always hate my life. I'm going to always be lazy. You will always have anxiety. So in my opinion, if you're addicted to drugs, alcohol, because you know, people say weed not bad for you and stuff, but look, man, these people making the weed these days, we don't know what's in that stuff. We don't know what's in that stuff. So I feel you really have to want to change your life. And you got to hold yourself accountable and say, look, not this time. I'm not going back. Because you're going to still hear them voices. You're going to still hear them old thoughts coming back. Man, just, just rub one out tonight. You're going to be all right. They just hit that girl up. I'm back in the West Coast, man. Let me tell you. West Coast, you're a black guy. Well, I ain't going to say just black guys, cause, but I'm black, so I'm going to just talk to them right now. You a black guy in the West Coast, man. They love you on the West Coast. They love you out here. So it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. But easy can become a distraction. Easy vagina can become a distraction. Now you ain't making them, making that music you're supposed to be making. Now you're not writing that book you're supposed to be writing. Now you're not taking those pictures you're supposed to be taking. Now you're not studying like you're supposed to be studying. Now you're not going to a different career like you're supposed to be doing. you still stuck because you're chasing vagina. I'm not going back who I used to be. I can't go back. Because if I go back, man, my life will be miserable. It's things I got to get done. I got to become a better father. So in order for me to become a better father, I got to do better. I got to kill all my addictions. Everything that got control over me, I got to kill that shit. I'm trying to do photography 24-7. If I want to do that, I can't be doing the old stuff I used to do. It's all distraction. So overcoming addictions, man, is hard as hell. I know. Especially when you by yourself, especially when you get bored sometimes. When you get bored... Start new things, start new hobbies, you know, and everybody ain't gonna beat their addiction. Everybody not, man. But for the people, you know, that wanna beat their addiction, man, look, it's it's possible. And I'm gonna show you. 
I'm going to show you it's possible. Especially when you want something new in your life, especially when you want a better life for yourself. And this ain't about money. This ain't about success. Look, man, sometimes, look, it's people who go a week without doing fentanyl. They go a week without drinking and they feel so alive. But guess what happens? Something bad happens and then they go right back to it because that's the only thing that can make them feel better. So you got to find new things that make you feel better. You got to find new things that make you feel better. And it's not hard. You got to find things that take the spot of that fentanyl, things that take the spot of that alcohol, things that take the spot of that weed. I'm not saying drinking here and there, you know, it's cool. But when things have control over you, that's the problem for us. You can't let nothing in this life have control over you. You gotta, man, you gotta take that as a sign of disrespect. That gotta be a sign of disrespect when something has control over you. We all got addictions, man. Your parents might have an addiction that you don't even know about. And you sitting here judging them on how they raised you and, man, they did the best that they could. Everybody got something that they don't tell you about themselves. You don't know. But the best thing you can do for yourself is get through your addictions. Break away from that shit, man. And it's gonna take time. Sometimes you might fail, okay? You say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this again. I'm telling you, life feels so much better when you don't have addictions when you steady knocking them out one by one. Cause you're not gonna knock them all out at, you know, that's not, we gonna keep it real. But one by one, day by day, every day on semen retention feels good. Every day I wake up on semen retention and I don't watch porn, I don't have sex. I'm like, damn man, the world is better. You can take your time. You see the roses, you see the flowers. You can walk slower. You can just take in everything. You're not nervous about nothing. You're not scared of nothing. I just started a new a new job with like a company company this time. You know, for the, for the longest, it's just been me um, working with owner operators and stuff like that. Now I'm with like a company, like they, they track your, um, your activity. They track how you working. They got safety guidelines. It's been years since I did that kind of stuff. I mean, I come to the job like, okay, I'm gonna be the best driver here. Give me a month, I'm gonna be the best driver here. While the rest of those dudes calling off, and I'm gonna be the best driver here. And still doing my stuff on the side. Still doing photography, still doing YouTube videos. And that's why I love seeing retention, man. It just puts you in a different mindset. You know, so if you got addictions, man, and they hard to overcome, just take it day by day. Take it day by day. Um, don't give up on yourself, man. Like I say, some people, some people understand life at 24. Some people understand life at 28. Some people understand life at 38. Everybody get this at different times in their life. In my life, I'm starting to wake up, but it's by choice. We all have a choice, man. You have a choice if you want your life to be bad. You have a choice if, and I know them temptations, them. Um, the stuff you addicted to, they talk to you. It talks to you. Man, one drink ain't gonna be bad. Then now you drunk, now you passing out. I done been there, man. I done been there, so I can't judge nobody. But I'm telling you, man, life is better when you got a little discipline. When you got self-control, life is way better. When you got self-control, man, you not thirsty over sex. You don't care if that girl talk to you or not. You don't care to chase girls no more. You, you just don't care no more. You don't care to be on dating sites no more. You, you don't care. Because if you go meet a chick, you go meet a chick. She go come talk to you, she go come talk to you. If she don't, oh well, I got more time to myself. 
you know so man live this life i know we all not perfect but let's try to overcome our addictions and you know and let's stay consistent with it you know so hey man y'all have a good day i'm out